Hello, welcome to this very special class. My name is MK Akan, and in this class, I will be talking about an email that one of my students sent to me. So, I'm going to be doing a review and editing the video or editing the email live. Right? So this is what I usually do for my email copywriting students I review their emails. Right, so she has sent me over 25 emails and I've been reviewing. So for this email, instead of just telling her what to improve, what to correct, I want to show her what to improve and what to correct. I don't usually do this, but I'm doing this as an example to show you how you can correct your mistakes and also show you how to edit your copy because editing your copy is also part of what you need to know. <coughs> Excuse me. The first time you write your email, that is the first draft. You need to edit your email to get your ideas and get it to work. And that's exactly what I'll be doing in this email. Now, I don't usually record all the emails I review. I don't usually do it this way. So this is a special a video showing me review the email and editing it. I don't really edit email for students. But anyway, this is this is it. So first of all, before I start editing the email, first of all, I'm sorry. The weather is really cold, so I'm having flu and all of that. So I hope you can hear me clear. Now she has written a lot of subject lines. So I'm going to go through the subject line. I'm also going to read the email and see how I can improve the email. Now I've read the email already, and it is a story email, which is something I really, really like. Okay. So the first, the first thing I usually like to look at is the formatting of the copy. Is it easy to read? I usually want my emails or my sentences to be at least three, uh, uh, at most three lines. I don't really like long sentences. Because the longer your sentence, the more you need to put commas, and it may be hard to read. All right. So the formatting, I would say, is average because there are lots of long sentences here. So as I did, I'm going to show you how you can make sentences to be shorter, and how you can write uh, much better. So let's read and start with the subject lines. Free consultation hour now. I, I like the idea of free consultation, but the subject line can be improved. So if you have something free, you can add that as an email. People love free stuff. So that's a good email subject line. I'm going to edit that. Five reasons why it needs pediatrician. Well, cure God issues faster by consulting a physician today. Use this approach to heal kids God's health. How a pediatrician saved a million. A proven way to cure God's issues. Discover the secret to heal God's issues. Tired of this guy's issue. I don't like the subject line. It's very long and what was done there uh, not very, very attractive. Heal your God's issue with this simple approach. Okay? That's okay. Will self diagnosis help you get results? So I would, I would, I could turn that to dangers of self diagnosis. Okay, so this is me directly making changes. Story. Excuse me. So I could say this story reveals all right, this story reveals the danger. All right, so that could be that could be a good subject line, okay? People love to read stories, all right? 
So WHO is also having, when you write a subject line that has a authority figure or credibility figure, that's also good. So let's see how I can edit that subject line. Now, I want my subject lines to be short. I don't want it to be too long. So four words, five words at the most, okay? And if you have a very long subject line, you can break it into two, have it as part of the subject line will be on top. The, the remaining second half can be as the teaser of the subject line. I'll explain what that means. So, this sentence can be written, rewritten to be more active and direct. Okay? WHO won't. Okay, so I can say warning from WHO. Oh, this is a warning. This is a warning. The warning could be a capital letter from WHO. So that could be the top of the headlines. Self diagnosis. I can say self diagnosis. I want to make this email as short as this video as short as possible, <laughs> but I don't know how many minutes it will take. So bear with me as I make this correction. So I'm trying to make the, the subject line to be more powerful, stronger, and have more curiosity factor. So if, if, you, get, if you get an email that says, this is a warning from WHO, you should ring a bell, all right? If you know who WHO is, you want to read that email, okay? <coughs> so either I can leave that top one as the email, or I can talk about it here, but I, would, I wouldn't want to mention self-diagnosis in the e, in the subject line so that people can read, people can click to read the email. So I would say, this, this wasn't, uh, this is a, a risk. Okay. It's a risk to your health. I don't want to mention the self-diagnosis because most people might think they already understand the news about self-diagnosis. So I'm using curiosity in that subject line. This is a warning from WHO. This is a risk to your health. Okay, that can be the, the subject line under the main uh, subject line. Okay, so let's go on. Let me see if I can edit some more. All right, so this is not a good subject line. This is not really, it's not really, the good subject line should do a number of things. It should have benefits. You could have curiosity, you should have a story, or a combination of those three things. All right? If, can, if I can have subject lines that do those three things, you will make, you, you will get results. Now, um, offer subject lines are also good. So let's work on this very first subject line. Free, free one hour consultation. Yeah? One hour consultation. How do I do that? If you want to get a, a free one-hour medical consultation, uh, consultation from a pediatrician, okay. So what I'll do. Excuse me once again. Pedia, pedia, tuition. Let's see if Facebook can help me correct that. Okay, that's the right spelling. So I can turn that to a subject line. That subject line, you get a free one hour consultation. Then under 
this is this is quite long so what i will do will break it into two one is the main subject line the other one comes under as a teaser okay that, this could be something that can work for moms i can work on that headline once again five reasons why you need a politician uh, it's not bad but it's, it's, it's not a bad subject line so it's, it's something that can be tested Cure God's issues faster by consulting a physician today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. I think I can work on that. Okay. Use this approach to heal kids. God help. Uh, use this to 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 heal God's help. To heat kills God's health. Okay. Not bad. Ah, prediction save Emily. That is also not bad because it talks about a story. Proven way to cure God's health. Okay. So, I want to stop there. My advice to moms. Advice to moms. Or advice is. I like using the word warning because it, it, it has this negative connotation so it, it will grab more attention warning to mom practicing self-diagnosis okay so these are all different subject lines I, I think these are short enough things that you can you can break into two or you can test okay i don't want to spend too much time on the subject lines so let's go to the body copy so hey helene i have come to realize that most mothers don't know the impact of consulting a physician it isn't a bad thing though I see it as a lack of adequate enlightenment from the health sector and here's why and here's why I concluded. I have got tons of messages asking about a need to book constitution session. Can't I just come and take a make a purchase? Some would ask. So I have decided to share Emily's story with you. Okay. I will say that all the beginning part of this your email is not very useful. I would go directly to the email, to the story. So if 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 I were you, I would just delete everything here. Okay. I want to go directly to the story. All these other parts, I don't see it giving any help. So that is editing for you. You you go read your copy again. Which what is important, what is not important. I want to go directly to the story. Okay. So. I have deleted everything else that is not the story. Now, it's, sometimes you can have a background for the story, but most times it's better to go directly into the story. And that will work better. So let's see. I have cut out the beginning part. Let's see if we can write the story now. Emily has was having persistent digestive trouble that left her parents worried and disturbed. So I can cut that out. Remember that copy editing is saying what you need to say in the fastest shortest direct way possible without any ambigu uh, ambiguity delete words that are not useful delete redundancy use simple words you just want to communicate your idea okay so i would say emily had simple emily had persistent digestive trouble that left her parents worried and disturbed simple okay Direct to the point. Her mom, I would just say her mom, okay? Because the shorter, her mom will always go into the store to pick up any antibiotics. So I can write that better. I always remember copy, editing, it's just saying things better, okay? There's a grammar issue there. You're not communicating well. Her mom used to buy in it any kind of power. Now, something that you can do that can help you when you're writing it say it in your head I, the way you would tell somebody in the shortest way possible her mom used to buy any kind of drug from the any kind of drug any kind of probiotic from the store it's simple her mom used to buy any kind of Uh, drug, not drug, any any kind of medicine <sighs> uh, 
and probiotics. I don't know if that's the correct spelling. Probiotics from from the store. Okay. I think that is a much better thing to say. Now, if there's still any need to edit, I can edit. A mom used to buy, so I can say used to buy any kind of medicine and probiotic from the store. From the store, from the close by store. Yet there was no significant result. Yet nothing improved. Or but nothing improved. Okay. I'm trying to say the same thing in the shortest, simplest, direct way possible. Okay. I'm just showing you how I would have written this. So bear with me. But nothing improved. Her luck came when her mom met Dr. Harper at the health conference. Not, not her luck. No, the way you're saying that does not flow well. Her luck came. What do you mean by her luck came? But everything changed after she met. Simple. But everything changed. After her mom met Dr. Harper at the health conference. Right? So I have, since I've changed that, I have, this is gone because I've rewritten the other one to, to cover the change. Dr. Harper. Dr. Harper. An extinct pediatrician. An expert will be a better an expert pediatrician <sighs> that being said we have arranged this this no payment condition to help maintain your child or help by getting okay so this story is one very short two it lacks a lot of details when you're writing stories sometimes Tell the dramatic part of the story. Stories are better when you have drama. Drama means something happened crazy and something happened crazy and things happened. Okay? Nothing happened here. You didn't say anything about anything happening. You just went from sharing the story a very little bit and now you jump to selling. Okay? Now, if there were some details about oh, the girl almost dying or something happened that they rushed out to the hospital, it would have made the story good. Okay, but this is a bit dry. So I'll just try and see if I can add anything there. Okay. So the transition from the story to what you're selling also is not smooth. Okay. Transitioning from the story to what you're selling is not good. Now you're, you're trying to show the value of a pediatrician. You should transition properly from the story to the value of a pediatrician to selling your offer okay so let's see if i can work on that i hope this is still recording let me just be sure let me okay it's still recording so let me go ahead so let me read the story again emily had persistence emily how who is emily okay emily A X X X O girl. Okay, let's know who she is. Had persistent troubles. Emily. Um, let's assume that maybe she's ten. I don't know how old she is. So let me know. put that there. A ten year old girl had persistent that left her parents worried and disturbed. Okay, Emily, a 10 year old girl, had um, 
Okay, I'll, I'll work on that first sentence. One night, I'm just trying to add a detail. It was so bad, she stayed awake all night. There were times she uh, one night it was so bad she stayed awake all night all right her parents stayed awake too her mom her mom couldn't sleep They thought she would die. Okay, so I'm just adding drama. I don't know if this is true, but I would say getting some drama like this details. You have to find ask questions. How did he? What was the worst thing about this stomach ache? What What did he? How did it affect you? Okay, and then use that in your story. Adding more drama to your story gives it more, uh, makes it more interesting. Her mom tried everything. So I'm rewriting that sentence again. Her mom tried, her mom tried every drug, every medicine she knew. She knew, but nothing worked. She bought different probiotics from different shops and nothing worked too. Okay, so I am changing it. To give the story more drama and make it more interesting. Nothing improved. But everything changed after she met <coughs> Dr. Harper at the conference center. Dr. Harper's advice. Advice of the Harper gave her uh, gave her professional advice. That finally. I finally helped Emily. Uh, I finally healed Emily. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. So I'm trying to, what I've done here, I've tried to add more drama to the story. Now you need to confirm these things. And if you're writing a story, try and get some more details to add drama to your story. So I've now told the story. I have now connected it to Dr. Harper and the advice. What you want to talk about here is consultation. So the story has to connect to consultation. They have to connect to what you're selling. Dr. Harper, professional advice. Dr. Harper, professional advice helped to help to get 
uh, Emily will heal. Okay, so let's see if I can. So, where you I know what you want to do here is to connect the story to consultation, but well, you didn't do it well. Let me connect it well. Dr. Harper, professional advice helped to get Emily healed. Now, I have to rewrite that sentence, but before I do, let me work on this next one here. It was just from a simple, it, it was, uh, let's say, a simple, Emily's mom, knew what to do what to do from a simple ten minutes ten minutes consultation Now imagine okay one minute now imagine if you if you had one hour with a Pediatrician on the spelling right. Pediatrician is that the right spelling? Pediatrician to discuss your child's health well well you are <sighs> all right um now i see what you're trying to do here you're trying to explain the value of a, a pediatrician I want you to know that moms already know the value of this thing. So the only thing I would ask you to focus on is to talk about how their lives or the lives of the children can change by just talking to a pediatrician. That way, they will be able to want to do it. Okay? Let me see how I can do that. Well, you are in luck. You see? when you get our xxx product you are entitled to a free one hour consultation Uh, our experts, pediatricians. I want to make sure I can finish this fast. So forgive my spelling. We can always correct that later. Our expert pediatricians. will help you will help you know the exact needs 
of your child. So you can see I am personalizing I am personal I am personalizing it to the reader. When you say children, they're talking generally. Talk, say it directly to who is reading. Remember, the person reading this email is a mom who has children or maybe a child. So talk directly to the person. Don't talk as if you're talking generally to people. So our expert pediatrician will help you know the exact need of your child. Okay? Where? And um, help you and will help you and will also help you accurately diagnose. We we'll also we we'll also accurately diagnose diagnose your child's um, got trouble and the best treatment Uh, you will need okay I've also made that personal so another thing I'm doing here I'm deleting all those your big big words always make it easy for anybody reading to understand all those big big terminology just take that out okay um, and, and just use simple terms that people can really understand individualized treatments uh, Okay, so let me work on that too. Our pediatricians will use use um, the medical history alleges. Uh, to formulate a personalized treatment <laughs> excuse me sorry my nose Qatar is really worrying me so our pediatricians will use the medical history of your child of your child to formulate a personalized treatment for our pediatrician will use will consider would be a better word make a of your child to formulate a personalized treatment for the child okay okay so I don't think this is important all right Okay, so you don't even need to buy from. Okay, so I didn't even know that. So I'll adjust my email. So let me read it a bit, okay? Let me read it again, what I've written so far. Emily, a 10 year old girl had persistent, had always had, or for the last, has had. Emily, a 10 year old girl had persistent digestive. Okay, that left her parents worried and they stopped. One night was so bad she stayed awake. Uh, she stayed awake 
uh, I think I can rewrite that her mom couldn't sleep. They thought she would die. Her parents couldn't sleep. They thought yeah, her mom tried every medicine. Okay, I need to rewrite that very first sentence. Emily, 10 year old girl, has suffered, had suffered persistent dietetic troubles for months. For months or for days that left her parents worried and they stopped. Boy, then they stop. I can just say, let her turn to stop. Who stop? Emily, tell you, girl, had suffered, suffered persistent. I can just say, suffered persistent. Can you see? Editing is a lot of work. You write something, you read it, you write it, you read it till it sounds okay. Emily, tell you, girl, suffered persistent that this is trouble for days that left her parents worried. One night was so bad, she stayed. She stayed awake and screamed. Also, but she stayed awake. I think I can write the second one, but let me go on. Her parents couldn't sleep either. I could say a number one night, many nights. I again, this is this is me just adding grammar to the story. I don't know the full story, but. If I was to write this story, I would ask questions or get a story from the real source and write it better. Okay? Many nights, it would, uh, many nights, many times, she would, she would stay awake. So awake, crying, in pain. Okay. Her parents couldn't sleep either. They didn't know what to do. Her mom tried every medicine she knew, but nothing worked. She bought different barbacks from different shops. She she bought from different shops and but um but nothing still worked. Nothing improved, but one what well, everything changed after she met Dr. Harper at a Dr. Harper Dr. Harper Dr. Harper gave her gave her. Gave her a simple ten minute consultation. He took, she followed the instruction, the instructions, and in days, Emily felt. Better. What exactly did Dr. Harper tell her? Okay. T 
to uh, in 10 minutes. I don't know. But imagine if you if you could talk to to the doctor for one hour. I know you just, I know you guys could discuss. Imagine if you could talk to the doctor for one hour about about when they unlock, you see? You see? You are, we are, we are given out. We are given out free one hour, free one hour consultations to moms who at first link okay sorry i had to rewrite it again so i am rewriting it as i am breaking down so let me read it again so this is what i did i made the story more interesting i connected the story to consultation and it's like you are only selling the consultation. So I have removed anything about selling the probiotics. I'm just selling the consultation. I thought, um, our expert pediatricians I don't know that the right spelling. We um, we help you know the exact needs of the child. We'll show you. We'll show you. We'll show you. The exact needs of your child. Help uh, give you. Give you accurate diagnosis. Give you accurate diagnosis of your child got trouble and the best treatment you will need. Give you another, give you personalized treatment. Give your child. Personal life treatment considering a medical history give you give you give your child personalized treatment considering using the medical history of a child. Um, give you emotional support and guidance. Okay. And this is all free. You are no you are under no obligation to buy from us after the presentation. Uh, 
Yes. We have to hurry. To hurry. This offer ends in five days. Go here to book a consultation. Go here to claim your free one hour consultation. with our pediatrician okay best whatever okay then I don't want to sell anything concerning so I will just say PS Here's what a mom said after her recent a recent one hour consultation. So I now have something like a testimonial from somebody who who had a, who had a, the consultation. I can have two or three. The whole idea is I am selling the consultation. Okay. So let me read the email now. I have changed a lot of things about the email, but I have left the main idea, which is story connected to consultation, sell the consultation. Okay. So let me read it once and for all. This video is too long, so I'll stop here. But I hope you've learned a thing or two about how I have twisted and changed a lot of things. I've made it, if you notice, very simple words, very simple sentences, and sentences are not too long. All right? So I can even make this to be um, bullet points. I can add um, bullet points here or this. I can do this for each of these. Okay? Let me go back and read the email. Now, this is not this email can still be edited and changed, but I don't want to go on. I don't want to stop here so that we can stop the video. Let me read the email. Emily, a 10 year old girl, suffered persistent digestive trouble for days that left her parents worried. Many times she would stay awake crying in pains all night. Okay. Her parents. We disturbed. She, I keep changing things. But I didn't know what to do. The, the thing is, when you read an email out, when you're editing it, you're going to begin to see where it does not flow well. So you edit it. If it does not sound like a conversation with somebody, edit it. If it is too complex and it does not flow, edit it. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Her parents were disturbed, but they didn't know what to do. Her mom tried every medicine she knew, but nothing worked. She bought different probiotics from different shops too, but nothing works. Nothing improved. Okay. But everything changed after she met Dr. Harper at the health conference. Dr. Harper gave her a simple 10 minutes, gave her a simple, or gave her a 10 minute consultation. Dr. Harper told her what to do. So let's say, told her. 
what to do in a simple 10 minute consultation she followed the instructions and in this Emily felt better she followed the, um, she followed the doctor's instructions and in 10 days Emily felt better what exactly did Dr. Harper tell her in 10 minutes well I don't know But imagine if you could talk to the doctor for one hour by your child's health. Well, but imagine if you could talk to the doctor for one hour about your child's health. Mm, I think that needs some work, but let's go on. Well, you are, you, are, you are in luck. You see, we are giving out free one hour consultations to moms who act fast. A link that link is for them to go and book our expert presentation will show you the exact needs of your child so I can say during what just happened <clears throat> okay. during this consultation During this consultation, our uh, expert petition will show you the exact needs of the child, give you accurate diagnosis of the child's got trouble and the best treatment you, you need. And the best treatment you need. Give your child personalized treatment using the medical care of the child. Um, I think I can rewrite that sentence, but let me go on. Give you emotional support and guidance. And this is all on this. This is all for free. You pay nothing. Okay. You are under an obligation to buy from us. Yes, we have to hurry because this offer ends. Hurry because this offer ends in five days. Go here to claim your phone, your your free one-hour consultation with a presentation. Here is what the mom said after her, her one-hour consultation. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. That is the new email I have written from the old email. You can see I have changed. And as I, if I read it again, I'm going to see some places I need to improve. So this is very simple, very straightforward, very direct. Okay, you just want to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. You just want to connect your ideas from one point to the other smoothly. So I started with an interesting story. I connected it to one made. Uh, what gave the result consultation and I talked about the benefits of the consultation the mom will have and I entered it with a call to action with maybe test testimonials that will make people want to go sign up and I also added urgency because people don't value free stuff if you say they have something they have to claim and it's available for a limited time you need to let them know okay so I hope you have learned a thing or two about this now sometimes after writing the email you have an idea for a better subject line so so i can say let me see if there's any subject line i can work on from the story i just wrote uh hi petition save the million uh, well i want to stop here okay but i hope you've learned a thing or two about what i did let me know your thoughts and don't forget if you want to get this kind of powerful copy reviews all right join my short copy master program go to products by mk.com slash short copy the link is on the screen go to that url get the short copy master program you will learn how to write emails and you will also get reviews from me for your emails okay so let me stop here if you have any questions reach out to me bye bye go get the training go get the course it's going to really help you 
and I'm gonna be here to also help you as I did here. Bye bye.